In this video, we will use the scan string instruction to compute the length of a string. Let's say our input string is hello. The layout of the string hello in memory is shown here. We see that the last byte in memory is the null byte, which is also the string terminator byte. We will start off by loading the RDI register with the address of the first byte of the string. We will also load the address of the first byte in another architectural register and we'll call it the begin pointer. Once we have done that, we load the null byte in the AL register since we want the scan string to compare against the null byte. The scan string instruction compares the byte pointed to by the RDI register with the byte in the AL register and it sets the status flags accordingly. In this case, we want the scan string to continue across the length of the string. So we will use the scan string instruction with a rep prefix, specifically the rep not equal to prefix. And this will cause the scan string to iterate in a loop until the zero flag is set to a one. So we start off by comparing the first byte in RDI, which is pointed to by the uh, RDI register with the byte in the AL register. The comparison is performed as a simple subtraction operation. Once we do the subtraction, notice that the RDI gets incremented. Once the RDI is incremented, the value of the zero flag is consulted. If the zero flag is set, then we know we have found the null byte. Then we break out of the loop. If not, the repeat prefix causes the scan string to go through another iteration of this loop. So we enter the loop for the next iteration in this case, since there is no match in the previous case. We compare the E with the null byte. Then we increment the pointer check the status flags, it, zero flag is not set, and we continue with this process until we reach the end of the string. Once we reach the end of the string, now we have a match of the null byte in the string with the null byte in AL. So in this case, the Z flags ZF bit is set. Notice that the RDI now points to one byte ahead of the null byte. So we decrement the value of RDI by one and then calculate the end pointer. Once we have calculated the end pointer, then we can compute the length of the string by subtracting the begin pointer from the end pointer. Now let's see an inline assembly code that will make this happen. Let's start off with uh, our uh, output and input list. Let's say we want um, the output to live in the RDI register, right? And the output is going to contain the string length, which is going to live in this variable mlen. So we will map the RDI register to mlen. We need three inputs for this program. The first one is the input that will be mapped to the RDI register. So we st start off by loading the address of the first byte in the RDI register. So we map that to the first byte of the string and we also save 
the first byte in a register for the begin pointer. So let's say in this case I just pick rbx to save the begin pointer that will also contain the address of the first byte and then we want to load the al register with the null byte to be used by scan string. So once we have the input and the output list complete we can now start the sequence of instructions which will compute the string length. We start off with the CLD instruction which clears the direction flag and then we do the byte version of the scan string but notice that um, we need the rep not equal to prefix for the scan string. Once this instruction completes, the RDI value is pointing to one byte ahead of the null byte. So we subtract one from RDI. Now RDI points to the null byte. If we now subtract the begin pointer from the end pointer, then we, we should have the string length in the RDI register. And the RDI register, as we saw before, is mapped to this variable mLeng, which will contain the length of the string. The program will then display the length of the string and exit. So let's see if the output matches what we expect and as we can see here the length of the string hello is reported as 5 which seems to match with our expectations i hope this video gives you an introduction to the scan string instructions i'll uh, see you guys in the next video